Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. Today I am going to be making a bucket hat using the Red Heart Granny All-in-One Square yarn. And we are going to be using, I believe it's amethyst, yes. Soft White Amethyst is the color. There you go. So I do have 11 other skeins in various colors, 11 different colors. And I will be doing this granny square that this is intended for. However, I wanted to see what working up something not as the granny square would look like. And I'm sure many other people have already done this, but I wanted to see it for myself. I'm going to make a bucket hat and I'm going to be using double crochet as well as the flat granny stitch because I need to learn how to do the flat granny stitch for my Taylor Swift dress. So yeah, I will be doing the, uh, the top of the hat will be the double crochet. It'll be like this. So it'll be like a coaster, but will be for my hat. And the body of the hat will be the flat granny stitch. And then I will do the brim in the double crochet again. So it's going to be, I've never done anything like this, putting it together. I've seen other people do something similar. So this should be interesting. And as of the recording of this, it is currently... Wednesday, July 24th, which by the way is my great niece's birthday. So happy birthday, Piper. I love you. I miss you. And I can't wait to see you soon. And I'm going to be today, I'm going to have the grands over. Uh, so I will do this as much as I can and then maybe pick it up again tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll get it done today. Who knows? We'll see. But like I said, I'm going to start the top of the hat as the double crochet. So it'll look like this. And then I will add the body, which will be the flat granny stitch uh, pattern. And then onto that, I will um, connect the yarn and create the brim in the uh, double crochet. Because I kind of want the brim to be a little bit more shaded because, you know, I mean, that's what the brim is for, is to shade your your eyes. So instead of having the full-on open, I'm not sure. Hold on one second. Okay, so instead of the hat being like this, where the brim is also the granny stitch, excuse me, the granny stitch pattern, it will be like this, whoops, and have a double crochet closed pattern. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. And yeah, I'm kind of, I'm excited. Okay. So for this, oh, I am also using, I believe it's a, yes, it's a five point millimeter. So it's my goodness, it's the H8 five point millimeter crochet hook. And I have started with a magic ring where I am going to be in putting uh, 12 double crochets. Oh my goodness.
right, so this is where we are at. This is the first round. I have done the 12 double crochets and connected with a slip stitch. I'm going to continue to increase the top of the hat until I get it to where I want the size to be. And then I will start working on the granny, the flat granny stitch. All right, so the top is done. And as you can see, each of the five colors are fully represented as well as having a little of the first color represented twice, but that's okay. Uh, I'm loving how this is working up. And this actually might be a little big. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's big for the top of my hat. I probably should have stopped at this la the second to last row, but I wanted to have all five colors fully represented and it's not really going to matter because now I'm going to be doing the body, the body of the hat in the granny, flat granny stitch. So I'm going to be sewing on that, that to this and it's going to be measured to my head size and I might do it a little bit smaller, maybe by an inch, because I know that it will stretch over my head, and then I will attach it, so that's why I know this isn't gonna matter too much. It'll just make it a little poofy, I think, I hope. That is my goal. <laughs> so here we are, the top of the hat is done, and now I'm gonna start working on the flat granny stitch. Alrighty, so I think I've pretty much got a handle on the flat granny stitch. And why did I not see that this was totally a 90s Taco, Taco Bell aesthetic? All that's missing is the pink and it would be totally 90s Taco Bell or that cut that you would get at like a convenience store. But anyways, this is so far, this is the, um, the body of the hat. I think I need to, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I think I need at least three more rows and then that will complete it. And then I will attach it to my top and then I will attach to the bottom of this to create my brim. So yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh, and I have done this with my oh my my little tweak of the um double stacked single crochet when i make my turn and go in i i, I instead of doing a chain i do the double stack single crochet and i even figured out how to do that as far as the um foundation chain oh my goodness the foundation row and because uh, basically what you do for the flat granny stitch oh my gosh my brain is uh, you do it you chain in increments of four and then at the end when you get to the length that you want you add an additional six chains well instead of doing that I simply chained in my increments of four and then did um, a double stacked single crochet to form my first double crochet and it totally worked. I, let me see, let me, my chain, there we go, would it be this one? There we go. That is, instead of having a chain of six being the double crochet and a uh, chain one, I have my double stacked single crochet and a chain one, and it totally worked. And if you want, I can um, make a video about that, just a really quick video, but I'm not gonna do that right now. This is just to make my hat, and we are simply doing the granny stitch. It's so easy. Don't forget my chain, because I keep doing that. I constantly forget to do the chain one. I do my double crochets, and then I'll, because I don't normally do the chain one in between the clusters, I forget to add it. So, but yeah, I'm gonna do a few more rows, and then we will, 
I will uh, sew the body together and then I will attach it to the top and then I will start working on the bread. Right, so I was just on live and I thought I was screen recording and I wasn't. But anyways, so I have attached the top. Yes, I've got my granddaughter here so you'll hear her in the background. She's putting on a hat and, and putting it over her truck. Be careful when you walk out there. She's got the hat covering. She's got the hat like this. So she can't see. Anyways. Anyway. So I've added the brim. And I will say when I first started doing this. I did a row of single crochets. And then my first row of double crochets. I continued from here. Which meant I did um, five. I did an increase. And then five single crochets. Increase five single crochets. And I did a couple of rows. Yes, Punky. I want to eat. You want to, you always want to eat. Go ask Papa. <laughs> anyway, so the I did two rows and it just wasn't flaring out enough for me. So I undid those two rows and this first row I decided to do do increase and then single um, double crochet or one double crochet and increase. So I did every other. And I did, uh huh, okay. And then I did, I did my first row with increases and then I did a second row with increases. And then I did one row of no increases. So now I've done two more rows of increases and I'm working on the final row of no increases. So that's where I'm at. This is, I think this is a pretty good length. This is with all six. It's the increase, increase, no increase, 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 no increase. I want some of yours. You want some of mine? That is mine. She's got a hat, but I think she's wanting this hat. I'm working on this hat right now, Punky. And I'm going to finish it off with a row of single crochet. And let me come back. Let me work on it, I should say. Or I, You're not letting me do anything. I'm just doing what I want. So I'm going to finish up and tie all my ends and work my, weave my ends in. I only have one at the moment. And then I'll have, you don't want that? Okay, do you want the other one? 
No, okay. I do. You do? So indecisive. No. You want that one? No. She's... Okay, I'm back. Sorry. She was being very demanding. So you don't hear all of that. You just cut to this right here. So I'm going to finish it off with a single crochet and then weave in all of my ends. And I will be right back when I'm done. All right. So it is officially completed. I really think it's cute. There are some things that I would change, but that's okay. You know, I just kind of did this and uh, threw it together. I think one of the main things I would change is probably doing one less row, at least if it's like this size. Um, if it's the same kind of, you know, like the, the each row is the same size as this, I would probably do one less row and I would probably do one less row of the top but, uh, but yeah, so I don't, I don't remember if I said earlier, but I attached it with a single crochet and then I attached to the bottom and did a row of single crochet and then started doing my increases and I did two increases, one no increase, two increase, one no increase. And then I finished with a row of single crochet to finish it off. And I was thinking about doing the um, backwards. I don't remember what it's called, but it's where you go. Instead of crocheting the way you would normally crochet, you flip it around and it creates a um, spiral look to it. But I figured, no, I wanted to keep it the same as the top. But yeah, it's all done. This will forever be known as the 90s Taco Bell bucket hat. <laughs> I do love it. I think it's really cute. I will say I kind of wished the purple was more to the front because here's the seam. So the seam goes to the back. So this is the front and right now it's all blue and white. But that's okay. I don't mind. It's really cute. It came out the way it did. I thought the yarn worked up really neat. I love the colors. Even though it's totally 90s Taco Bell aesthetics. Let me take my hair down and we'll try it on. Let's see. I know I need to... It won't look. My hair looks looks like it won't look like this if I were to actually you know what it doesn't matter that's what hats are for is to cover your head but there we go I absolutely love this hat I might if I were to also change it I instead of doing every other increase every other stitch as an increase I might do increase two um oh what am I thinking two single crochets in the next two stitches and then increase so that it's not quite as wavy but no I absolutely actually you know what I don't think I would change that at all I absolutely love this hat I think it's cute this I'm hoping will soften when I wash it because it looks a little kind of funny, but no, I love this. I think it's cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button and if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, you did it. <laughs> awesome. You put the, you put them back in the box. Awesome. That's my granddaughter, which you already know she was part of the video anyways. Anyways, if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And with that, remember gravity works guys. You're such a goofball. You're sissy, that's right.